Hi friends, we're painting a row of flowers in bright colors. First I start with painting a white blossom with yellow center and then some yellow accent flower and then a ren pink ranunculus as the main flower. I want this flower to be the center of attention because I love this flower. It always makes me happy when I look at them. And the light source is coming from top right. I like to have this gentle light source because it helps me to create dimension. So my main goal is to put together some bright colors and the flowers to make me happy and I hope they make you happy as well. Here's another secondary flower, yellow rhinoculus with green center. It will not have as strong of a contrast as the main pink rhinoculus, but it will also similar to this white secondary flower have some detail and look interesting some leaves i want the brightest the color strongest the contrast to be around this main pink rhinoculus so i didn't do any thumbnail or sketch for this drawing I didn't even looking at the references, just based on my memories of beautiful flowers and uh, try my best to create a painting that make me really happy. Painting them definitely make me happy. It also keeps my mind going. Believe it or not, this is a organized chaos. It's not a mindless chaos. And that's what makes me happy. Of course, the bright colors and those blossoms always make me happy as well. And this is a Queen Anne's lace like flower, an accent flower supposed to fade to the fade to the background. And they don't have to show the whole blossom because they're just filler flowers. I'm adding those filler leaves and flowers to make the composition look a little bit more natural. Orange accent flowers here and there just because I want to love the color. And this is a lilac looking flower. Of course, they will never grow like this in the real world. But I want them to be there. Some teal blue. Some background growth here and there. And really dark colors next to the main flower. I always go back to the main flower to make sure it stays at the focal point by increasing the contrast around it, by giving it more detail. For me, it's important to keep a focal point for this piece, otherwise it will look too chaotic. I don't like things to look too chaotic. So I'm sharing with you what goes through my mind when I paint this. 
This is very bright red. It doesn't become a focal point because it has it's very small, also doesn't have much detail. So when you do your own piece, the only thing I would suggest is make sure there's a focal point. You can put whatever you want in whatever color you like to make you happy, in my opinion. But bear in mind, you don't want to mix red with green, probably, unless you want brown. And here's a blue. I haven't seen this bright blue leaf in the real world, but I want them to be there just because they make me happy. <laughs> hmm. And some lavender it's accent. Yep, black next to the main flower. So this is the darkest color that I can use. We have all the range there already. Black, the darkest, and white of the paper, the lightest. Some burnt umber here and there, just a little bit of it. And burnt umber next to the bright blue is gorgeous. I'm adding some very light green here and there as some thin leaves glow under the light. I really enjoy painting this piece. It's pretty liberating to do something just to make you happy without worrying too much about references, thumbnail, sketch, nothing like that. It's liberating. I hope you enjoy watching this video and if you do, please click thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope you go out and create something that makes you really happy and uh, thank you so much for watching. Happy painting! See you next time!